A lot of people think the law of attraction is simply wanting something, visualizing it, and then receiving. Whether it's that really shredded Instagram will body, a different job, more money, or a better relationship, the list goes on. There are lots of things people desire, but most people never achieve them. Why is that? In today's video, I'm sharing with you my law of attraction success story and how I became my fittest I've ever been, how I found love after getting my heart broken, and how I used the law of attraction to get funding for my dream startup idea. The truth is, in my opinion, the law of attraction isn't as simple as visualizing something and then receiving it. I believe the law of attraction is the act of creating space in your mind for your future self. The law of attraction is not just visualizing who it is that you desire to become and what it is that you want. It's taking it one step further. The law of attraction is first believing that you are capable of receiving what it is that you want, then making space to visualize in your mind what it is that makes you feel like that, and then making a plan and taking action on your desired future self. I believe we are the result of a series of events created by us. Every single day you wake up and make a choice about who it is that you want to be which is reflected in your habits. Your life then unfolds according to you. If you believe you are strong, beautiful, and capable of a life that aligns with your deepest desires, that is what you will create because the first step to achieving is believing that you can. If you believe you are beautiful, strong, fit, and powerful, eventually your thoughts will act as a catalyst to entice your everyday actions to align with those beliefs. As a result, your story will be a lot like mine, a success. Hey Roni, do you want to go on a walk? Come on. I didn't get super fit because of the law of attraction. That was step one. I earned the body I'm living in by first believing that I was worthy of it and then taking small daily actions every single day with my food choices, my workouts, and how I treat my body when no one is looking that align with who it is that I want to be. I showed up every single day in fitness for years before I finally felt like my body was a reflection of something that I could be proud of. That doesn't mean I didn't love myself before I started. Life is a journey, not a destination. Learning to love where you're at right now in your journey to whatever it is that you're after will make your journey to your future self a lot more seamless. One quote I've never forgotten is what you're doing right now is a reflection of who you will be at this time next year. What kind of daily habits are you implementing into your life every single day and what is that attracting? Do these actions align with the person that you want to be 365 days from now? The law of attraction didn't find someone for me that treats me right. The law of attraction gave me the tools I needed to recognize that I deserve to be treated right. The law of attraction inspired me to pursue a business because every day I woke up and visualized what it is that I wanted my business to look like. What I wanted to be doing, how it would feel, and how I could better serve a community of women who are going through the same things I am. And it's hard. Earning something is supposed to be hard, but I can promise that attracting things and people into your life that are a reflection of your true self feels a lot better than looking back and wondering, what if? It wasn't because I visualized my fit body or my future lover or my dream business that I obtained these goals. You have to take it one step further. My law of attraction success story is a direct result of the action that took after creating those beliefs. I am a firm believer in the idea that your vibe attracts your tribe. You will attract into your life exactly what it is that you put out into this world. I said to my sister once that our minds are a lot like our homes, so it's important that we take care of them by keeping them tidy, clean, smelling nice, and a welcoming place. That is what I wake up and consciously do every single day, and my success is a result of that. I tell you this story because there is a huge misconception out there that believing is achieving, and I don't believe that. I believe the most rewarding things are the ones we work for because we earned it. I believe that the only difference between a success story and one that is not is someone that didn't quit. I believe that you are capable of conquering anything that you set your mind to, whether that's in fitness, your relationships, or your career, if you first decide that you are worthy and then put in the necessary work to make that happen. Every single day, I encourage you to wake up and make the choice to be someone you are proud of. Take action. Show up as often as you can, be consistent in your goals, and never stop visualizing the person that you are working towards becoming. But most importantly, don't forget to love who you are right now because life isn't about pushing for that next moment. It's about making the best out of what you have right now. All right, I'm sitting in my car now. I'm getting ready to head over to my boyfriend's house for the evening. And I was just kind of thinking back on how I have used the law of attraction to improve my life and basically change who I am as a person in just the matter of a couple of years. I think there's a lot of confusion around the law of attraction and finding success with it. Some people think that with the law of attraction, all you have to do is think and visualize something and then eventually it'll happen. You'll just get everything that you want out of life and it's this really fruity cool thing and that's just not what the law of attraction is. In my opinion, I think the law of attraction is creating space in your mind 
to visualize and grow into that next version of yourself. That's how I use law of attraction to get my dream body, to find somebody that treats me better than I ever thought I was capable of being treated and to start a dream business that I never thought I'd be able to do. I think back on my life and I remember back in 2018 when all I wanted was to look like all the fit models out there. And the truth is the law of attraction will only get you so far. It really helped to visualize what it was that I wanted my body to look like and what it was that I imagined I would do in that body and how I would feel in that body and what I would wear in that body. And I think that visualization helped me get crystal clear on what it is that I wanted my body to look like. And we're four years into this. I'm super happy with my body. I've never looked better I've never felt stronger and I can honestly say I'm in a part of my fitness journey where I'm just really happy with where I'm at and it is because I use the law of attraction and I visualized and I planned and I took action on what it is that I wanted out of my life in terms of my physical and my mental health I think back on the story when it comes to finding love and being treated right and I remember just a couple years ago I was in a really crappy relationship and I was fresh out of high school and I was with somebody that treated me like crap and I remember thinking that my life was crap Crap. I remember feeling like I was crap and I just remember thinking that my life sucked and you know what my life sucked because I believed my life sucked and when I completely got rid of that person that was so toxic for me out of my life I started to realize that my life was a lot better than what I thought it was going to be and it's a little bit of the law of attraction and it's also a little bit of having an attitude of gratitude and it's funny because I'm in the same house, I sleep in the same bedroom, I wear the same clothes and I do pretty much the same things every single day minus maybe having an extra degree or two. But instead of waking up every single day and being told that I was crap, being told that I wasn't worthy of love, never getting calls back, never getting texts back, never being invited to parties and being lied to and manipulated, I decided that I was done with that. And I remember having a conversation with my sister one time. I told her almost a year and a half ago that I felt like I hadn't have met the love of my life yet because I felt like the vibe that I was putting out there wasn't where it needed to be to meet the person that I wanted to, to treat me the way I needed them to. And it's funny, I feel like when I put that out there and I acknowledge that a couple of months later, in comes walking one of the best people I've ever met in my entire life. And he answers my phone calls. I've literally almost never heard his voicemails. He answers my texts immediately. He spoils me, he treats me right. And it is because I put that vibe out there that I wanted to be treated that way. It is because I believed that I was worthy of being treated that way. And it is because I continually woke up every single day and I expected to be treated the exact same way that I wanted to be treated. And I truly do believe that you deserve to be treated the way that you treat other people. And I think by having that mindset of, I will be treated the way I deserve to be treated and I will find somebody that treats me right. I ended up meeting somebody even better than that. And I think the law of attraction applies to that. And I think on my dream business, I've talked about this on my channel now. If you guys don't already know, I'm currently living at home. I am working on a sports brawl company as of right now. It is backed by a few investors and provisionally patent designs and I'm so passionate about what I'm doing. And I never would have had this opportunity if I hadn't have put out into the universe that I wanted to do this. If I hadn't have tried and continued to show up every single day and believe in my vision, believe that I was possible, visualize what I wanted my life to look like. And you know, I don't have it all figured out. I drive a really crappy 2000 Toyota Camry. I wear the same clothes that I've been wearing pretty much for the past couple of years now because I've invested every single penny that I've earned into my education because I put myself through school. And I don't have money to go traveling and do all these things that I want to do because I have made sacrifices to be exactly where I'm at today and I'm so happy that I did that because even though I don't have fancy things or fancy cars or have my own place I'm living a life that I feel like is aligned with my passions because I'm working on a business that I'm passionate about and that's how I want you guys to feel too because I never settle for less than what I deserve and I think that that's what the law of attraction is all about it's knowing what you want getting clear about what you want and then making a plan and taking action and that's what I've done in my physical body in my fitness journey that's what I've done in my life life and that's what I'm currently doing in my business life and things are perfect and things are hard but that's life life is supposed to be hard and that's what it's all about and that's what I'm here to share with you I'm here to inspire you to be a boss lady to go out there to wake up every single day to show up and be the person that you want to be because I truly believe each and every one of us were put on this earth for a reason and I think that it is your God-given duty to go out there and to chase that purpose to chase what makes you happy and believe that you are capable of conquering anything that you set your mind to and I wake up every single day and you know yeah I'm scared that I don't have a job I don't know when I'm gonna get an income next I'm scared my business could fail 
but what if it doesn't, you know? And I'm willing to take that chance in myself. And I think that the law of attraction and believing that you are capable of literally anything that you set your mind to is the first step to success. And then waking up every single day and visualizing what it is that I want my life to look like. What do I want to feel like? What do I want to be doing? Where do I want to live? Who do I want to be surrounded with? And I think it's because I wake up every single day and I make a conscious effort to literally just spend time with my future self in my head that I continue to create this life for myself that I'm working towards that eventually is going to be aligned with who it is that I want to be. But I'm just here to inspire you that if you're in a place in your life right now where you're not 100% happy, I want to encourage you that the grass is green where you water it it's not green on the other side and things aren't perfect right now there's a lot of things I could look at and be like this is crap but I choose to have an attitude of gratitude and I also think that's what the law of attraction is all about I am grateful that I have a car to get into and drive to places every single day I'm grateful that I have a roof over my head. I'm grateful that my parents are willing to house me while I try to figure out what the heck any block I'm doing with my life. And I'm grateful that I have clothes to put on my body. I'm grateful that I am healthy enough to wake up and to exercise and take care of my body. And I think that that's what it's all about. You need to be grateful and you need to just be inspired by where you're at in your journey right now. So I've gone on a rant. It is super hot in here. I didn't turn on my car because I didn't want the air conditioning to be blasting into you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, I have a bunch of videos inspiring you on how I learned to love my body with a consistent exercise routine, my morning pages routine. I have all sorts of videos coming out soon too. So go check those out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a giant thumbs up. It really does help support my channel. Subscribe and take that notification bell because I upload new videos every Sunday and Wednesday at 3 p.m. I hope to see you in another one soon. If not, peace out. Bye.